Shema, it's me Piotr, welcome in the new video. Uh, you can treat this actually video as a, as a podcast because as you can see, uh, I'm again on the uh, on the, my daily walk with my son around the, around the common area in, in the building where I live. Uh, so today a little bit about the uh, security and a little bit about the safetyness in Malaysia. So overall basically i can tell you guys that during the four and a half years that i live in malaysia uh, i actually feel quite safe i don't encounter any kind of a situation that i was scared afraid of something but or or i was in any kind of a danger so actually i can tell you guys that uh, that i feel quite safe uh, if we're talking about uh, living in malaysia so so far nothing happened and said let's have a look let's have a hope that not, never happened it will never happen to uh, to me however uh, there is uh, some <laughs> situation that recently happened uh, in the place that i live that i start to thinking that maybe it's time to uh, change something i mean maybe invest a little bit about in a, in a security of of my house or or things like this so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what's happened lately in our like uh, uh, building. So whew, let's go. So basically, the situation that happened, and I think I don't know, maybe maybe most of the condos have a problems like this, or maybe they don't have. If you live on the in the condo, then let me know in the comments. Do you face the same problem? So okay, the the first thing that happened, which uh, we don't really. Uh, can do anything about this is uh, stealing the parcels yeah there is a uh, many situation that uh, that the parcels are missing so um, basically it's happened at least like uh, once in the week and even if the uh, not long time ago they found they they want to do i mean they 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 the idea was to put a security guard make a logbook blah 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 whoever is going to the mailbox and uh, they will have to like uh uh, basically uh, log in and then tell oh I'm taking this parcel you need to show the proof but actually it didn't work because there's still people complaining that the parcels are missing some even try to uh, say that maybe the security guards was stealing the parcels which is silly but who knows you can actually you can't do anything with it you can't even prove it so and that's the biggest uh, one of the problems that we face in here um, but this is not like a very disturbing and it's 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 the most thing that happened recently is the things that uh, well uh, there was a situation not long time ago that someone just opened someone uh, grill grill door someone doors and sometimes they uh, found some strangers people just walking uh, basically around the building and the problem is that um, no one actually know how they get access to it the most like uh, uh the biggest like uh problem is that uh with the people who duplicate the cards which be which which happens many times and i know that our like uh, management is fighting with this but the problem is is um, all the times happen that someone is uh duplicate the cards and everything which uh, is a problem with the security here so i start to thinking that maybe it's a good idea to install my own like a uh, cctv so even if we have in our building security level three or tier three you can call it however you want which means uh that you need access card to get into the building i mean the lift lobbies if uh, if you want to go to your floor which in our building you have designated floor to the card so basically i can just only go to my floor plus uh, common area and parking lot and the uh, shopping uh shopping um, shopping mall level uh, there is still like a breaches in the security because people duplicating the cards um and i know that uh, some of the people here renting the houses for more tenants so instead of uh, going to the management office and pay that hundred and ring it and have a, like a proper car to access car to the building they're probably going to some shops because they can do it probably what 20 ringgit maybe 50 ringgit uh, which means that they duplicating cards but uh, the good thing is that uh, our management management start to chasing those people and they will pay the fine and i think according the 
Uh, I don't know, I think it's, uh, it's illegal by the law, if I'm not mistaken. So let's have a hope that these things will change. Second thing, I'm gonna tell you guys that many people complaining that, uh, oh, maybe we need more security guards, but there is a lot of the people who are leaving the doors open. I mean, you you know, the main doors, like uh, lift lobbies, uh, doors, plus, plus, all the doors that, uh, uh, that connecting to the shopping malls. I'm not saying that I'm feel like um, uh, not secure or something like this. Just just start to thinking that uh, maybe maybe it's time to think about the changing the lock. That's why last time in the one video I show you that we went to the um, that was a home fair, home expo or something like this in maybe Bali, and that's why we was thinking about uh, buying a, a better lock. Because to be honest with you, uh, the lock that it's in our like a condos it's not really good it should be uh, uh well the better quality i know that maybe it's on the per maybe maybe this is the standard thing with developer install or maybe this is the some kind of a security measure in terms of uh, i don't know fire in the building that will be easy to break the, the logo i don't know i don't know i will have to check it because i uh, i don't really know how is it but uh, i was thinking to change the lock uh, cctv <laughs> why cctv in front of the doors well it's <laughs> another things that happen uh, from time to time is people stealing the shoes yeah exactly they open the cabinets uh, and they just string the shoes so there was a few cases not far away not long time ago that uh, just just the shoes was missing from the cabinets and i think a few days ago someone posted a video on the on our group or facebook i don't remember it doesn't matter where but uh, it shows exactly that uh, uh, there was a uncle wandering around, around the uh, corridor and they, he, they, he just like a look on the what people have in a, in the like a drawer so that's a little bit strange and uh, not really good but yeah that's kind of a things happen from time to time which is uh, yeah a little bit disturbing and, and the third one is actually not funny but the, this actually happened happening already two times which is which is really bad uh, for me as a man it's not really like uh, problematic but I think for a woman it could be disturbing and really scary like uh, uh, kind of the things that happen to them so so I uh, yeah so last thing that actually happened that I want to mention is about the uh, uh, there was a situation with the two guys <laughs> let's uh, let's say that one was local second one it wasn't local guy but actually they just like a, some kind of uh, one of the guys was like a molesting the girls in the lifts so that was quite scary for them basically just touch them which if you are like a, a young woman young girl maybe it will be a very bad uh, situation for you I mean and uh, yeah it's quite scary uh, fortunately they catch the guy through the CCTV and yeah, it was talent so it was easy to kick out the, the tenant from the property from the from the building and the second one uh, the local guy i think is a student that renting the uh, student that renting the uh, the unit here i mean the room but he also did some not appropriate uh, action towards the young girl uh, which is strange because they live on the same floor so she knows him somehow I mean knows him but she knows where he lives which floor I mean the same floor but which which uh, which unit so so I yeah so if if I will start to think about this then <laughs> slowly it looks like outside of a building is more secure than inside but uh, let's have a hope that they will they will like uh, sorted out all the problems uh, by I don't know maybe they will install more like uh, uh, CCTVs that will a little bit help to catch those kind of a people because it start to get scary and like I said maybe because me because I am man so I don't really bother because I, I know how to defend myself and do uh, what will be unnecessary but I'm more thinking about uh, my wife and maybe in the future if we're gonna still be here probably yes and when my son will be uh, older and maybe he will have to stay alone in the house or something like this then maybe time to make some um, do some things to to secure our house more it's not like i feel scared or something or i want to move out from this place because 
I think it's not necessary and it's not so bad yet so we will see how it's gonna be uh, in the future here but I started thinking that maybe uh, maybe next time if we will want to buy like a house or maybe condo maybe I will consider to don't buy the uh, condo that with that is uh, connected to the shopping mall maybe maybe less units more like a security more like a measurement but of course it's gonna involve more cash that we probably will have to spend for that house but who knows we will see how it's gonna how it's gonna be yeah so overall I can tell you guys that I still feel very secure here in Malaysia I think it's very safe country to live it just maybe the situation that's happened recently in our place where we live maybe it's a little bit disturbing and I start to thinking that maybe like I say maybe I will have to do some kind of a things to to sleep <laughs> normal tighter because you know you never have you know what's happened so far in my block uh, no incident so I'm happy about this but maybe better to in case of something will happen uh, maybe uh, better to change the locks maybe better I mean change the locks maybe better install something more uh, more secure uh, maybe maybe do some uh, installation of a small CCTV in case if someone will steal my shoes or something like this actually uh, in the last few days I started thinking maybe I should check the cabinets though I still have my own sh old shoes over there because you never know what will happen and I don't know uh, this is how it is this is what I want to share with you it's another like you know this is the thing that sometimes I have nothing to record then something happened or I read and then I start to think oh I should share with you with this situation or with my, my opinion about this because it's uh well this is how it is so anyway thank you for watching if you have any comments leave the comments uh, I will read them see uh, see what you what you thinking about this what is your opinion or do you have any problems or not that is very like a similar to mine or the place that I that you live see ya bye bye